Lou here with Tiny Mountain Houses. I'd like to introduce to you our latest model, our Lassen Peak. This house is standard as a 24 footer, and this particular unit is built for a customer. So we've got some options in this house. I kind of want to point them out very quickly to you. Uh, this is an uh, optional uh, board and bat exterior. You notice the, the French door with the built-in blinds that we use in a lot of our houses. And this house has a, a metal roof. I'm going to walk you inside and show you some of the uh, cool stuff that we've done to this particular build. U-shaped kitchen. Um, one of the first that we've done, like this, uh, you'll notice that we've got uh, full depth cabinets on the right and the back, and to the left we've got a kind of a reduced size cabinet in order to make everything fit with a bank of drawers. We've done the, the sink is the apron sink that we do quite a bit of now. It's a pretty good look if I do say so myself. As we look over here to the right, you'll notice uh, this house, this client, I should say, optioned in a dishwasher. Pretty nice little unit. Also optioned in our four burner uh, stainless steel propane range. We've got the white smooth shaker style cabinets in here with white beadboard walls. Lots of counter space. Also left an area here open for a washer dryer. A single unit washer dryer I might add. And here we have a custom built countertop that these folks uh, uh, felt they wanted to have in this particular build. Notice the nice depth, width, stool height. I think it, it can work out well. And let's take a look over at the left here. I want to show you the custom built staircase. Notice this is a white finish on the outside with a nice dark stained stair treads and handrail. I think it came out very nice. Once you get up, Nick's going to walk up here and show you the top step where you've got a nice platform. And as we walk here, here's another custom touch that we've done for this particular buyer. We've added a storage area here. So what you have here is a storage cabinet, cubbies below, and also a privacy wall. Serves as a privacy wall to separate the loft area from the re remainder of the house. Now this particular build has two lofts. You just came out of the master loft. The queen loft is what you're looking at now. This area is almost six feet deep and it's almost eight feet wide. And it can be used for a multitude of uses, whether it's a bedroom, storage area, etc., etc. In this particular build, the client chose to eliminate the two larger windows on the side and go with just one on the end. The standard build would have a narrow window on the end wall with two of the windows that you're looking at now on the left and right. The standard build in this particular house when it comes to the windows is a three window package of these size windows and the option in this particular case is the three transoms that were placed or optioned in above them. Now we can also put 24 by 80 inch tall windows here in lieu of what you see now which can be pretty dramatic. I want to point out the opposite wall and the fact that this wall should have three standard windows, the same as I showed on the opposite side with the optional transoms above. In this case, um, our buyer decided they didn't want those windows in here. And in fact, with the stairs, um, they wouldn't have been able to place uh, two of the three windows in, in here anyway. I want to take the opportunity now to show you a bathroom in, in the Lassen Peak here. Uh, in this case, uh, the customer has opted to go with a uh, composting toilet. This is the separate unit. We use them quite a bit. They're very, very efficient, very effective. And what you'll see in this particular bathroom is our standard sink with a china top mount uh, sink. I should call it the lavy cabinet with a china sink, metal faucet. Notice our um, uh, medicine cabinet that was opted in this, this particular house. And all of our houses come standard with towel and uh, toilet paper holders, by the way. There's the cabinet, linen. Notice the open area, shelves below. That's so the doors won't hit the 
toilet. If you did put them in there, it wouldn't work. In this particular case, uh, the client optioned for an enclosure in their 48-inch shower. And there you see.